guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. This is episode nine, and today we'll be discussing the main method. So I'm gonna be talking about like why we use this and what is, what even is this uh, string array args. So I'll show you guys what that is. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications. Anyways, let's get on with it. So basically, this is the method that we use to like start the whole program. Now, the reason why it's static is because we want to be able to use this wherever. When we run this in our IDE, it will be able to use static, since it's, well, since it's static, it can be used anywhere, it will be able to directly call our main method and start the whole thing, right? So what about string args? Also, what happens if we change this? Could it just be like start? Could we do public static void start? No, we can't because that's not what our IDEs look for. And this is the exact same way as Java. It is main because it is our main method, right? Now we could obviously, um, now I'm gonna discuss this in another video, but we could obviously just call other methods in here. So I'll show you how to do that in another video. But I wanna explain what this is. So this is a string array args, and that just means arguments. So basically when I run our app, let's say I run our app is uh, game.exe. Let's say in the console we want, we put some args. So it's like there's a string, we can put um, test, or we could put, you know, we can do hi. Let's say we, we run this in our console, game.exe test hi. Basically, it'll put that into an array args with test and hi. So if we do console dot write line, and if we do args, at index zero, it will print out test in the console, right? Same thing if we do args at index one, it will produce hi. So that is what our string ours is, and I really think that's it. Just know that this is where you start. Don't forget the, the brackets here, right after string, because it's an array, and we have args. All right, and also, yes, it must be args, okay? It must be args, all right? If you change it, it won't work. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Anyways, peace.